Yes, yes, I know. All right, I look like. Do you know? Do you want to know what I look like? Yes. All right, we can. We can let it fester. All right, I know. I look like pink. <laughs> we can. God damn it! Look, I haven't dyed my hair in seven years. I figured, you know what? It's funny. That was my entire reasoning. I, I was bald for a year and a half. I'm like, you know what? I have hair again. Why not? If you don't like this color, you're not gonna like what I'm going next week. Ooh. But anyway, hi, welcome back to Skyrim. I am a sad boy right now. Cause I, I just, I just want to be in Norway again. I just miss Alta so fucking much this last couple weeks. I am sad. So Skyrim is is being my altar right now. Anyway, what are we doing today? I don't know. I don't care. I just feel like I had to record while my hair was like this. So as at, at the moment, I don't have any pre-recorded episodes of Skyrim. If I'm doing one weekly episode, I can find the time to record one episode per week. Okay. Play for like two hours, make an episode out of it. Talk to Arngear. Are we doing the main quest? Yeah, I suppose. Why not? It doesn't look too bad. I, I, I'm aggressively neutral towards it. Like, I don't really give a shit. I don't like it and I don't dislike it. It's just... I don't think it suits me either. One of my friends uh, told me I look like a Chad. And then my brother's boyfriend just walked past me in the bathroom and said, You look like a twink now. Yeah. I'm not beating the twink allegations with this one, am I? Most people say it looks fine, though. No one said it looks bad. I don't think it suits me. What do you think? And look at it. It was slim, shady yellow when we first did it before we put the toner in. We used half a pot of bleach on it, and then it didn't, like, take completely. It took pretty quickly, but, like, I, I was like, we should use the other half of it. And we used the other half of it, and then I had a little reaction to it. But it was fine. It went away after, like, an hour. Boof. Eat shit, pot. Um. Let's, let's bring the camera back up, because I know you want to see this. It was slim, shady yellow. It's still, like, a, a bit here on the sides. It's kind of... You see the orangey, sort of darker yellow, but like on the top, it's like basically white. Like it didn't look blonde to me; it looks white. I wanted it spike white, like Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That's what that's what I wanted it. And it's kind of like that. If anything, it like accentuates my little beard, a, a small bit, which I fucking swear to God is growing faster because of Deep Rock Galactic. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not insane. I'm literally not insane. It's growing faster. I. But, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I just look like every gaming YouTuber circa 2014-2016, when they all dyed their hair blonde. They all fucking did that. I have the opportunity to do the funniest thing right now on the bridge map, but we won't talk about it. Anyway. Why don't I just open? I don't know what this is. Pink gave herself a haircut during quarantine, is that what that said? As if that's news? Jesus Christ. Okay, where's on here? Poof. There he is. Wind, guide you. I need to learn the shell used to defeat Alderin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The grey bit. Uh, the, the blades. The blades? Of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Yes. Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? I do what I want. <laughs> the blades just want me to defeat Alderin, don't you? What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Yeah. Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. I do agree, but I want Skyrim to keep going for a little bit, so... So you won't help me? No, not now. 
Not until you return to the path of wisdom. How about you suck on my dragon nuts? Forgive me, I was intemperate. I Bolly, would you... <laughs> my judgment. Master Einoth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. So can you teach me the show? No. I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. <gasps> it is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Hmm. Dragonrand holds no place within the way of the voice. I thought you knew all the words of power. But not Dragonrand. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. So what's so bad about Dragonrand? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. I put worse things inside my body. But if the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alderwood? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question. If he so chooses. Who's Parthenax? Why haven't I met him yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He hmm. speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. So who is he? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. So, okay. How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Okay. Can I steal these yet? Yay! Nom, nom, nom. Dovaki. Dovaki. My nuts trembled at that. Come on, you old fart. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm too old to be saying that. It's so cute. I can barely reach it. They're just going uh, 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 on the top of the thing. Oh, this reminded me of Call of the Wild. I was playing this the other night on call with my friends, and I was watching the the Northern Lights in Revantule Coast. As we were watching, shush, I'm talking, as we were watching the Northern Lights from Alta and uh, <laughs> on the video call. Oh, that was amazing. I saw the Northern Lights for a tiny, like, not even a halt, not even a minute in, in August above our apartment. It was tiny, it was a, a, a big, it was big, it was a big sliver of green in the sky. I took a picture of it, it's on my Instagram. But, oh, oh, to, to be there and see it for like 20 minutes, I would, oh my god, I would skin somebody alive for that chance without remorse without question anyway I will show you how to open the way what does he eat Look. Oh. Grant 
grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your. F Do we have it unlocked already? Isn't there a thing where, like, you can... Because you don't need to unlock this twice, do I? I don't need to do it at all, do I? Wait. No, so apparently, wait, isn't that a thing if I, like, learn the first word and then... ...eat the rest of it, then I, like, know the whole thing, don't I? I don't know. We're gonna be killing so many dragons, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, oh. I'll go back. You should follow my Instagram, by the way. Okay, it's in one of these pictures. No. Oh, I know which one it is. It's this one. The one with the picture of it in the picture. <laughs> I got to see it. it was like it was it looked so close like you could touch it. It, oh, it was cool. <sighs> Go to my website, watch my music, listen to my blog, you know. Oh. Oh. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Parkour. I don't think there's any animals on the way up here, right? I turned my light on, by the way. So now it's a bit easier to see. Excuse me? Oh. Oh? Where's my health at? Wait, what? I'm confused. I see no health bar. Where did my health bar go? <gasps> I can't do anything! You can't kill me. Am I dying? No, I'm not dying. My cactus is freaking out. Am I still dying? No, he's just freaking. Now I'm taking damage. No? <laughs> What's happening? I'm covering the side of the screen. Like, look. It, just a bunch of status pop-ups keep happening in the corner. Oh, it's not happening anymore, okay. Oh, I haven't been collecting this, the teeth. Ah, it's only teeth. Yeah, see, look at that. All these debuffs I get for 0 0.4 seconds. I thought I had to like constantly blow the the wind out of my face. Hmm. <coughs> ah. Restoration. <gasps> I'm gonna stay here till I have a restoration level up. Finally, that took a couple minutes. It's okay. Not like a bad amount of time, but. Fuck off! <laughs> Noise. Throat of the world. 
Who are you? What brings you to my Strumach, my mountain? Um, I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovakin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Look, I need to learn the dragon wrench out so I can defeat Alderaan. Can you teach me it? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. What do you need me from me? Hmm. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dover King. The word calls you. Go to it. Name me. No. Hiya! Ah, I have expected <coughs> you, Proda. Prodeus. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. Maybe I like Tinvak. No. You seek your weapon against Alduin. Yeah, I do. You guys want some wasabi peas? I need to get rid of them. My friend has had these for months, and every time I go over there, I eat them, and he's like, please take them, and I'm like, no. And now I took them, and they have two months left before they go out, not that they magically become inedible on December 2024, but I, it's a lot to eat. Um, uh, how did you know I came for Dragon Red? Alduin Comet Teed. What else would you seek? No, Dragon Cock. and Dovakin return together but i do not know the thum you seek croesus it cannot be known to me your kind jaw mortals created it as a weapon against the dove the dragons our hadrime our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this thum? Hmm. I mean, I like this world. I don't want it to end, dude. Prusa as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Yes. The next world will have to take care of itself. Pause. A fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. 
Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los traodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. Ooh. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? Mm -hmm. I never thought about it. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the Dragon Wrench out, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Are you saying the ancient Nord sent Alduin forward in time? Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. How does any of this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Oh. Well, I have the scroll, lucky for you. You have it. Yeah. The Kel, the Elder Scroll, Tidkre, Kalos, Time that? shudders at its touch. There is no question, you are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh, the very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Go then, uh. fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay. Hey, I'll baby, let me put my elder coming. scroll in your time wound. He cannot miss the signs. He's good at that. Coming. Where'd he go? Oh! Hey, wait, uh, I'll be there in a second, buddy. I just, uh, I have to go do something. It's important. Just in case it crashes and I have to go through all that dialogue again. I'm getting the thing, damn it. 
I can drop my other pickaxe finally. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did I not have another pickaxe on me? Oh, I guess I didn't. Um. Hmm. What do I drop? It's the heaviest thing I have here. If I drop that, probably just better to. <laughs> oh, this is stolen anyway. I can't even sell it. Oh no, that that really does much for me, does it? Deep shit. Let me just get rid of um, the racks. Fuck it. Yeah. Get rid of the sword. Yeah, I'm coming, daddy. Please don't bug out. Oh, it was the wrong one, wasn't it? Is that? Stuff back out. I'm gonna eat more of these things. Gormlaith, you're a faggot! Today Alduin's lordship will be restored. No, it won't. But I honor your courage. Creek Wolf Akrin. Die now in vain. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Veldin, you agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, I no. will not need it. We'll deal with Alduin ourselves. Fear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Team to 
They still must have died in battle, though, right? Because, like, they're in Southern Guard. <laughs> My Billy. Fuck you. <laughs> Just get down already, dipshit. I'm not a funt. Oh, him. Use Drag Queen Rend. Okay. Rend if you know it. Gotcha. Absolute bitch you are. <laughs> I love perishing. <laughs> <laughs> I swear that's never happened before. <laughs> He's like, you fucking idiot. You absolute fucking idiot. This is the worst I've ever done it. Try to kill him. Fuck off. Why was I not hitting him? Excuse me? Okay, let's just restart this because that was clearly disgusting. Hit him. I'm not hitting him. Am I hitting him? Oh, I yeah, am. It's just no damage is, ha is happening. Oh, shit, what a waste. Oh, you can't stagger him. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Gotcha, bitch! I'm gonna stay away. What do you think I'm trying to do, sweaty? Wait, if we level up... Yeah. I still died of the burn damage, could you imagine? That has happened. Yeah. I thought he could be a Karen for a second. No, no, no. Don't land yet. Don't fly. There we go. You can fly now. Bye. Body snacks. Land, please. I killed him for a little bit. Lot Congrach. 
<laughs> Lots of congrats. The voice of Adova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Hmm. It wasn't really a victory. I mean, he escaped. But anyway, I need to find out where he went. Yes. One of his allies could tell us. Mat Mahus. But it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Mm -hmm. Perhaps the half Kossayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. True. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Yeah. You are the Void one, I don't think so. Hmm. Yes, but your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Oh, let's we'll see. Dragon's Reach was built to hold a dragon? Yes. This was ages ago, <laughs> ages you ago. understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and oh my killed god. Someone all is my war AI. Zimbar. Just no! Oh my god! I used to visit him from time to time. Sorry. Nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. No. I do not know how he came to be caught. But the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet, Park. The Hofkossayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. Mm. Dragon's Reach, these nuts. You're the master of the Greybeards. Did the others come here to train? Mm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. My stupid hair. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. Cool. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on the words? How? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Penis. <laughs> Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills <laughs> your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and yo. I like Fus. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. Oh. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Fill me. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Well, the world pushed me pretty hard earlier. I got a letter from my travel agents, and it was like a, a, a holiday list of like different places that they could that you could go. And one of them was seeing the Aurora Borealis, seeing the Northern Lights. And it was a trip around the top of Scandinavia, and it went to Alta and, and Tromsø, where I was. And I'm just like... And it was on my birthday, and I'm like, you are a fucking cunt. You know that. So the world pushed me a little bit earlier. It's like a little altar. Honrik? Honrik. No. Yeah, look. That's like Honrik, yeah. Talk to the Yarl of Whiterun. Okay. Ooh, 
<laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> what am I gonna have for dinner tonight? I had pizza yesterday. I thought you were walking a dog for a second, bruv. That's all you need, Dragonborn. Just to say that. Pete. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm still not over my friend. I grew up hearing songs about Aldi the bear. She wrestled a storm out of the sky. God, you guys sound so fucking retarded when you say shit like that. I hope that we don't have high enough speech for this, because I want to do the, the, the communion of, of people. I want to do that again, because they're fun. Hey, Jarl. Good to see you. You too. Um... I kind of need your help, buddy. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Do you know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important? Of course. You already saved White oh, okay. from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. To be fair, we don't need to but do it. I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city? When we've been working so hard to keep them out. The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin. The world eater himself. Yeah. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? Yeah. It's only hopeless if we give up. I didn't say anything about giving up. Now what's this nonsense <laughs> about trapping a dragon in my palace? Instantly just like, <laughs> gaslight him, like, get a hold of yourself. It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. What's up? Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. Sorry. You were on board one minute ago. What if you didn't have to worry about the enemy attack? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. You changed your mind bloody both quickly. Sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Okay, so we do need to do this then. Okay, that's fine. Leave that to me. I'll talk to Angi about hosting a peace council. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Are you ready to spring the trap on the dragon? My men will be ready when you are, Dragonborn. You have a truce to arrange first, eh? Now that I, I thought I was going to skip it, so now I'm like, oh, hell yeah, we're about to skip it. And now I'm like, oh, man, we actually have to do it. Keep safe. I want to do it, though. It's been years. Let's go do it. Although we're breaking the canon of this character, because this character originally... The canon decisions from this character's playthrough are everything that happened in playthrough 1. Because remember, this is Lawrence 2. This is Lawrence the second. It's supposed to be the same playthrough as the first, but we're just not there yet, because the first one crashed and we had to restart the whole thing. So... Cano canonically, in Lawrence's story, there's no peace council, there's no truce. They're practicing. All I heard was balls! Hmm. Oh no. I don't get it. Aldwin? We heard the dragon ran shout from here. You defeated him? No, 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 no. He escaped, but I need to find his portal to Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. Mm hmm. Well, I need your help. I need to help capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm doing the dragon. It's in Whiterun, but I need your help to stop to stop the war. Can you help with that? 
You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Please, <laughs> your Bolgrifon, help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect you guys. They will listen. Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. Yeah. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. That's a long way to go. Still remember us. Are you ready to host the Peace Council? Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to terms. Okay. And do you know where Alduin's gone? The old tales say that he can travel into Sovngarde to devour the souls of the dead. You must find out how he does this before he regains his strength and returns. I don't know, if I had to guess, it's probably he goes to like a place called Skaldarf and, and when there's like a Nakreen warrior guy who just opens the portal for him into Sovngarde maybe, I don't know. Just to hunt. Wind blow you. Okay, let's go set up the Peace Council. I haven't even been to Windhelm yet. Wow. God, this game is so pretty. This game is so pretty, there's a dragon. It doesn't look stupid, it just... You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink. Mm -hmm. you look, Rolf, you're a fucking cunt, alright? I'm gonna beat you up in like two episodes. Palace of the King. Algrim won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Norn. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on the White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Baldrop a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Yars. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our army. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on White Run. If we could take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not, the people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Sorry to interrupt. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? Yeah, actually. Um, I believe we've already met. Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helm. It me. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I was set free. I could have gone anywhere. I came to fight the Empire. I didn't. Um... As you can see, I have much that... Look, I have a message from the Greybeards, right? It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a truce until the dragon men... men, men, men Sorry, sorry, I'm new to this. You're just, you're really cute. They want to negotiate a truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. 
I can't agree to this unless Tolias himself will be there. Do you think I can persuade him? Politics be damned, Alduin has returned. Ah! Alduin? Yeah. The world eater of song and legend. Yeah. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? A little bit. Even Tolias may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So he'll come to the Peace Council? Yes. I'll give Tolius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Cool, bye. I mean, I'll be back in a bit. We have to talk, but... Let them die with their false kings. We might have to do the Peace Council in the next episode, just because I feel like we're not going to have enough time to fit that into the next eight minutes. So this episode will probably be like 54 minutes, or 55 minutes, or 58 minutes. I don't know. They can't all be over an hour, bestie. But next time we play, we get to start off with 20 minutes of political jargon. Sorry, official business, I'm coming in. So who are you? It's not important. General Tullius. I don't abide fancy clothes. Shut up. You look like you. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Yeah. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? I believe we've already met. Have we? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Yeah. I helped Hadbar escape. He said he'd vouch for me. Hadbar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Rickon? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. No. Yeah. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. Mass rape. I'm telling you, Ulfric Speak with Legged Rickon. No, I'm important. Uh, I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? Don't call them that, that's ableist. Um, they're convening a peace- uh, sorry. I'm, I'm just new to this, you're really cute. Um, they're convening a peace council at High Hrothgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. Ooh, we need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion. And I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Well, he's already agreed, so like... Anyway, but either way, the dragons are a bigger problem right now than the Stormclerks, dude. Uh, you may have a point. It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. By all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Even Ulfric might see the sense of a truce under these conditions. You'll come to the council then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Okay, thank you. And I will be back Greybeard to talk to General Tullius. Uh, General Le Leggett Ricker. <laughs> General Leggett Ricker. Citizen. I am more than just a citizen. I am the future. Those rebels better not try coming to Hoffingar. The only person getting fingered here is... No, never mind. What? General Tullius. Don't worry, I'll come to this peace council of yours. Oh, you're going now? Do you want, do you want some company? We're gonna walk with Tullius to the peace council. Is that a really bad idea? Has, has anyone ever done that? Fuck it. Next episode, we're walking with Tullius to the Greybeards. And we'll do the... God, that's such a bad idea. Oh, that's a really bad idea. I'll see you next time. Will my be healthy? Stay safe. Bye, rock and stone. <laughs> no, why am I like this? Fuck. Oh, it's gonna be a really boring episode, huh?